what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel nicole of course as you guys can see from the title today i have some exciting news to share with everyone so i hope you stick around to find out what it is i'm just eating something slight i got a cob salad from chick-fil-a with avocado lime ranch dressing Mmm, looks delicious. And honestly, I feel like they put a lot more chicken in here than they typically usually do. But I like that though. She's not complaining at all whatsoever. And then I just got some fries with Polynesian sauce to dip it in. So, and then I just got a water with lime. So let's just go ahead and get a prayer in a thumbnail and we can start this combo. I'm so, so geeked. And I hope that you guys are going to be just as excited as I am. Um, we have waited a really, really long time for this moment. It's not exactly where I want to be, but we are slowly but surely getting there, all right? So let's bow our heads and pray. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. <clears throat> Just something quick and easy. Oops. Perfect. Okay, let's mix this around. I don't know just this salad is so different to me today but in a good way like it looks better than it typically usually comes comment down below what is your favorite um salad dressing at chick-fil-a what's your go-to salad dressing mine is always the avocado ranch avocado lime ranch Ooh, this salad just looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I thought something was on my face, but it ended up being like a little fuzzy on my phone screen. So I was really, really confused for a second. I was like, how can I already get something on my face when I only took one bite and I'm eating a salad? Okay. Anywho. So let me take a couple of bites first and then I can tell you about my great news. Mmm. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> my beanbag cover ended up coming this morning from Amazon and I was going to take a clip of it for you guys so I can show you what it looks like. Um, of course, it's going to be pink and it's fuzzy, <laughs> but the way that it came packaged, you know how some people buy things and then return them. So maybe it's supposed to come packaged like this. But my, it was like, it was like a little sketchy, too sketchy for me. So I went ahead and threw it in the washer machine. I would have washed it anyways, but just the way that things were looking, I threw it in the washer ASAP on delicate because of the fuzz and whatever. So once that's all washed and dried, I can throw in a little clip in, um, say like tomorrow's video. So you guys can see what it looks like and the quality of it oh it's starting to rain but it's really really cute I'm so happy that I finally got it I wanted to just wait to order it when I came back from Milwaukee because I didn't want it to sit outside um you know the whole time that I was there mmm the rain I hope you guys can hear it it's so calming this morning I was at the gym and one minute it was super sunny the next it was a storm and there was some people at, at my pool too and they got out of the pool ASAP and started running inside
it's kind of just been on and off showers all day here in Houston, which I like, but I need like a, a legit all day rainy day kind of thing. You know, I feel like we haven't had one of those in a while and I just want to lay in my bed, maybe open up the windows a little bit so I can hear it. so peaceful see like I think it already stopped <laughs> <clears throat> all right I'm gonna tell you guys this news because I just can't keep it in anymore for all of you that do not know or who are newer to my channel um yes I do wear wigs a lot of the time I have been for quite some years now how long has it been guys I think like maybe about a good two years I would say and the reason for that is because I used to dye my hair a lot I was dyeing my hair myself and I was going platinum blonde and if you guys have had that color before you know that you have to touch up your roots at least every two weeks and it's kind of hard to keep up with, right? So I damaged my hair really, really bad. I have naturally curly hair. So all of that bleach really dries it out. And then I did it so much constantly that I just got a lot of breakage and it was just, it was fried, fried to the gods, okay? So that's why I decided to start wearing wigs and yes, I love them because I like to switch up my hairstyle a lot, quite often, um, but I kind of have been a little over them lately um, and I kind of just feel like wearing my real hair. So I have a couple of big announcements to make. First of all, my real hair, I just noticed this like a couple days ago because I knew that it was like growing or whatever, but I believe the last time I told you guys like where it was at, because uh, some of you ask and I've always just been keep saying like, oh, to my shoulders, like literally right here, right? I was braiding my hair up to like put, do do myself up this morning and my real hair guess where it's at right now she is getting long she's going down the back <laughs> she is getting really really long it's growing like Rapunzel okay maybe not that long but It is literally like right here. This is how long my real hair is. <clears throat> so imagine if I wait just a little bit longer. I also have been taking some vitamins, hair, um, hair growth, hair nails, and um, skin vitamins as well. I don't know if that's helping. I do also use Oloplex on my real hair. I do not use any hot tools or whatever. I put on a wig every single day so I don't know I just feel like it grew super fast within the past I don't know a couple of weeks since I got back from Milwaukee because I didn't notice it when I was in Milwaukee I don't know it's absolutely crazy to me and so I was kind of looking online at places um because I love the fact that my hair is growing but and I haven't dyed it in, I don't know, maybe I dyed it right before I went to Milwaukee. But the color that I dyed it, I do not like at all. It kind of reminds me of like a brownish red. And I just, I really messed up. And I didn't want to touch it. So what I did um, was... I looked up 
hair salons near me. Well, I kind of Googled like professional hair extensions, whatever. And this really, really nice place popped up. And first of all, I didn't realize how long extensions can be. I mean, how uh, cost effective they can be. But I get it because I think they stay in within like seven months. And then like the upkeep isn't so bad. I think the upkeep is like around like 200 or something. But the first initial cost, and I'm not talking about, um, you know, like the little clip-ins, like the actual hair extensions, like whatever. So that was like my first idea. That's why I looked up the salon to get the, like, the extensions. But then once I seen that my hair was growing, I was like, ooh, let me get like a little color and maybe extension moment or maybe just the color first because it is summertime so I can do shorter hair so anyways she booked her appointment wait wait I booked a consultation to see if they can I have a inspo picture of what the color I the color that I want for my natural hair and I think it will work really really great with my skin tone and my curls um, I just think it will bring a lot of volume to it and bring out my eyes as well so Once I, because obviously I know that I'm not going to get to the color that I want right away, um, because I am focusing on more towards like a blonde moment, but it's not all blonde and it's not platinum blonde. It's going to be like a mixture of a couple different blondes and browns and stuff like that. So once that all happens, she's going to be wearing her natural hair. She's going to come out, okay? The natural hair is going to come out to play. And she's not messing around. I'm so, so, so excited. <clears throat> because doing this every single day is kind of exhausting not gonna lie I'm really 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 excited and then once I get that done so my plan was probably just do like the color excuse me a color and maybe like a little trim this time and since I'm going to Florida very very soon I may just keep it you know my natural length and then when I come back I can put in the extensions um because that will also have my or make my hair grow and I won't be as hot because you know Florida gets way too hot it's just like uh here in Houston And it'll be my first time getting them, so I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want to say like mess it up. I don't know if the salt water messes it up. I don't know if you have to wash it some kind of way, a special, particular way or whatever. So I think what I'm gonna do is just wait until I come back. But I'm really, really excited about the coloring portion of it. And then, I 
once I get my hair to what I want it to be, I want to move on to um, brows and lashes. I want to invest in myself, you know, if I'm going to be on camera, I don't want to kind of save time, right? Because putting on this every single day is a lot of work. And then you have to just think about like filming and everything else that comes with it. So as I was getting my tattoo, the dragon one, he was telling me about the beauty bar that they have as well. And they do microblading um, eyebrows and they do lashes there. And, and again, microblading is not cheap, but it does last for two years. And then the touch-ups are not as much. So you, yes, you pay a lot up front, but it's definitely worth it, A, because they look on point. But I'm kind of really particular about what my eyebrows look like. Like I want, if I get their microbladed, I want them to look like this, like exactly, you know, without putting no makeup on. And then eventually I want to get a facial, not a facial, uh, what is it called? A chemical peel because of my acne and my scars and all of that I just want to get a whole makeover she's gonna be tan she's been going to the gym she's working on her fitness you know Nicole's gonna hopefully turn into a I don't want to say a different person cuz that's bad choice of words and a, good, a better person in a in a good way you know so yeah, basically all I'm trying to do is work on me, do me, focus on myself, and better myself in every way possible because <clears throat> you have to start with loving yourself. And then, you know, if I choose to move on into a, a relationship or don't, or do something else with my career... I mean, who knows what the future has in store for me, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs> so let me know what you guys all think about that. Basically, I guess you can say overall, I'm just trying to better myself in every way possible because you have to love yourself first in order to love someone else. So... And that doesn't only mean physically, because I know I'm talking about my hair and eyebrows and lashes and fitness, whatever, but fitness also goes along with health. But spiritually, within myself, I need to start meditating more, which I did start doing that. I'm going to the gym a lot more often and kind of, you know, sitting down and having talks with God, just spending time with oneself and getting to know you on a deeper level just hits different. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I feel like I picked the worst parking spot ever known to man. I swear I try to choose these the spots that have like no one around and I swear no one is around when I pull up but the second I turn on my camera, someone's there. Without a doubt. Like, it never, ever fails. Never fails. Ooh. Anywho. That's my exciting news. It's exciting to me. I don't know how exciting it is to you guys. But I'm just announcing it because... Let me know if you guys want to... Hmm. I don't know if I want to film it. I might film it. I don't know though, because it's only a consultation. 
I don't know what, what results they're going to give back to me. Like, girl, your hair is not going to look like the picture. <laughs> I am an, an impatient person for sure when it comes to dyeing my hair. That's why I love wigs so much because you buy it, you put it on your head, and it's the color you want. And then if it's not the style, you go ahead and switch up the style the way that you want it to be, you know? And then it always stays perfect all day. Well, for the most part. I feel like everybody else's wigs look perfect throughout the day except mine. When I get home... I look like I just rolled around in some dirt. <laughs> or went through like a windstorm or something. Like if I ride around with my, my car windows down, Lord, just give up. Just throw in the towel now. <laughs> I know. I'm joking. I know I do these. I put I install my own wigs and the people who professionally do it. That's why it looks so laid and everything. I know, I know, it's a joke. Don't get your panties in a bunch, alright? Don't take life too seriously. It's not. It's not all that. Anywho, <laughs> I have to go run to a couple of stores before I head back home. It looks like it's about to rain again. Like I said, it's kind of just scattered showers throughout the day. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think. I might put the inspo picture in my thumbnail because, or, hmm, I don't know. If I pops up in my thumbnail or in the video, I'm not sure if I can do it on my video. I have to teach myself how to do it. But let me know what you guys think about the color down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> you can always find me here on YouTube and Instagram and Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.